a long, long, long time ago, before people, before plants, even before fish, our planet looked nothing like it does today. Imagine fiery volcanoes rumbling, restless oceans churning, ash and strange gases swirling in the sky. Earth was young, wild, and empty. No oxygen to breathe, no animals, just water, rocks, and endless clouds of gas. If you could have listened closely back then, you might have heard the planet itself let out a groan. Ugh, I can't breathe. But hidden beneath the surface, deep in the ancient seas, a miracle was about to unfold. Zoom in past the waves, and you discover a whole world of tiny green-blue blobs floating calmly. These weren't just specks of goo. They were some of the earliest life forms ever to exist. Scientists call them cyanobacteria, or sometimes blue-green algae. And while each one was invisible to the naked eye, together they held secrets that would transform the entire planet. We may be tiny, but we're going to change the world. What made them special? These tiny pioneers were masters of a trick called photosynthesis. Using just sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide from their surroundings, they could create food for themselves. But that wasn't all. Every time they soaked up sunshine, they released something precious and rare, oxygen. Sunlight in, oxygen out, easy peasy. It took millions and millions of years, but slowly the oceans filled with sparkling bubbles of oxygen. That oxygen floated up, escaping into the sky, changing everything. Scientists call this moment in history the Great Oxygenation Event. Suddenly, Earth began to glow with blue oceans and a clear, fresh atmosphere. At last, Earth could take a deep, happy breath. Ah, ah, that's better. Thanks, algae. Freed by all the new oxygen, strange and wonderful new forms of life began to appear. Tiny cells carrying oxygen, then creatures with fins darting through the water, later plants rooting into land, and eventually animals roaming far and wide. Oxygen made it possible for life to grow, thrive, and much later become us. Believe it or not, those blue-green algae haven't gone anywhere. Dive into any pond, look into lakes and oceans today, and you'll still find cyanobacteria quietly making oxygen, bubble by bubble, just as they always have. We're still working, one bubble at a time. So let's remember, cyanobacteria were among the first living things to make oxygen. They did it with photosynthesis, turning sunlight into the air we breathe. Without their work, life as we know it couldn't exist. They may be small, but they truly are mighty. Here's to Earth's first air makers. Thank you, little algae, for each breath of fresh air. Thanks for the breath of fresh air.